Hey everybody. It's an absolutely beautiful morning today. I'm down here in in uh, Florida, enjoying some time with family and friends. You know, we'll go live here in just a minute. I'll make sure we're Hello, everybody. Like I said, I wanted to uh, uh, say hello to everybody. Uh, taking a nice little uh, trip, kind of mis mixing a little business and pleasure. Uh, today I'm in uh, sunny Florida. Uh, if you can see the uh, tree behind me, but there's actually some little oranges on that tree. Uh, broadcasting from the backyard of my parents. Uh, I just wanted to say a few words about Memorial Day since uh, you know that's that's what this uh, holiday is all about this three-day weekend and so many of us take grant take it for granted uh, so I just wanted to spend a couple minutes uh, uh, talking about that uh, got some notes on here so I'll be looking down at my my iPod here but anyhow uh, just wanted you to remember that some gave all when it comes to our servicemen all gave some for the protection of our country but some gave that ultimate sacrifice and that's what this weekend is all about. Uh, so I want you to, you know, take some time this Memorial Day weekend to remember and honor those who did sacrifice for us. Uh, Memorial Day began as a day of remembrance for those who lost their lives uh, fighting for the Union during the Civil War. Originally, it was known as Decoration Day. It was uh, a time for people to visit cemeteries and, uh, and place flowers on memorials uh, 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 and other memorials on the graves of the dead, uh, a day to remember our ancestors and our family members and our loved ones who gave the ultimate sacrifice for our freedoms. Now, gradually, the practice expanded, and following World War I, the day was officially named Memorial Day, and it was officially made a holiday, national holiday. It was dedicated to honoring all Americans who perished in service for our country, uh, specifically in combat. Over time, however, you know, the, the, the meaning has gotten lost on us. It's become forgotten by many people. And instead of being a day to honor and say thank you, it's just become another three-day weekend during the summer. Um, as the story goes, one weekend in May in the late 1990s, a group of school children was touring Washington, D.C. And they were asked if they knew what Memorial Day was for. And their answer was, that's the day that the swimming pools open for the summer. So thus, the idea of a national moment of remembrance was born from that. Uh, the National Moments of Moment of Remembrance Act was passed in 2000 as a way to help honor and remember our fallen heroes. For one minute at 3 p.m. on Memorial Day, we're asked to stop everything and to pay our respects to the uh, service personnel who died in service for our country, especially for those who died in battle for us. That, that time of day was chosen because it was likely uh, to be a time when most Americans are really enjoying the freedom that was made possible by those brave men and women. So at 3 p.m. local time, all across the country on May 27th, people will wave flags, they'll visit cemeteries, observe a moment of silence, or, or stop to tell their children what the meaning of the day is. Uh, trains will blow their horns, uh, Hundreds of thousands of Major League Baseball fans will pause for a moment of silence during the ball games. Cars will drive with their headlights on, and taps are going to be played throughout the nation. Uh, there's other ways that you can observe Memorial Day, aside from the National Moment of Remembrance. What uh, Some other ways to pay respect to the men and women who gave their lives for our country. One is by <clears throat> teaching the next generation what Memorial Day stands for. Uh, to share with them the history of the day and to explain why we're able to enjoy, you know, so many wonderful benefits in our country uh, because of those the folks that sacrificed for us. Uh, it's a, a serious message to, 
to pass on to the other generations, but it's one that can easily be a shared. Uh, another thing that you can do is, um, there's lots of parades across the country that, that you can attend on Memorial Day. You can visit a, a military cemetery, uh, write letters or send cards or pictures to servicemen and women all over the country all, that are overseas. Uh, investigate the history of some great conflicts in your local area. Um, check out Netflix or the History Channel or the Discovery Channel for uh, different uh, movies that uh, depict what the uh, sacrifice was that, uh, that, that, that people uh, gave for our country. Another way to honor the memory of the fallen soldiers is to take, take care of the veterans who remain behind. Uh, consider a contribution or a donation uh, of your time uh, to, to one of the uh, many wonderful uh, nonprofits that are out there that support our veterans and their families. Uh, patronize businesses that make it a priority to hire and uh, um, to, to employ veterans. Uh, visit your local VA, ask if you can bring snacks or games or books or other activities and spend some time with a, with a disabled veteran that may be in the hospital. Um, and finally, the Memorial Day Foundation offers uh, some suggestions. Uh, Memorial Day Foundation says wear a Memorial Day button for the first day of May all the way through Memorial Day. Uh, visit cemeteries and place flags or flyers on the graves of the fallen heroes. Uh, fly your flag at half mass until noon on Memorial Day. Uh, attend religious or other observations. Uh, visit different memorials throughout the country and renew your pledge to aid the spouses and orphans and family members of our fallen dead. You know, this is a time of year we take for granted because, you know, we, we live in, the, in my opinion, the greatest country on earth. Uh, we have all these freedoms and uh, the, the ability to, to be and become anything we want to do in life. And, and we take for granted all those fallen service members that made this possible for us. So while we're out there this weekend enjoying the wonderful weather, uh, our picnics, our days at the beaches, whatever it is, take a moment and remember the people that made all this possible. I will catch you guys in a future post. Hey, Kevin, thanks for attending my, my video. I really appreciate that you're getting on here and, and watching this. But uh, anyhow, I want to again thank you. Uh, if you found this uh, post, uh, to be something that uh, you would like to share, I please ask you to share this video with as many people as you can. We need to get the message out there to support our veterans and to uh, uh, remember them on this uh, on this uh, national uh, holiday. So I will see you again on a future video post. Thanks again.